The Maya were a powerful civilization that originated in the Yucatan around 2600 BC and came to full power around AD 250. They lived in an area that stretched from central Mexico to El Salvador and included Belize. Some believe that the region may have been home to more than 2 million Mayas during the peak of their dynasty. The ancient Maya were known for their advanced knowledge of astronomy and for constructing large cities containing pyramids and other structures. In this video, we explore the most fascinating Mayan ruins in Belize. We've collected a list of the top fascinating Mayan ruins in Belize, so make sure to include them in your list if you're a visitor. At first in the list, number one, Caracol. Caracol, which dates back to 1200 BC, is the largest Mayan site in Belize. It is, in fact, larger than Belize city and was home to approximately 15,000 people, though as many as 115,000 may have lived in its suburbs. Because Caracol is situated in a remote location in the Chiquibo Forest Reserve, you should prepare yourself for a long, bumpy drive. But once you reach Caracol, you'll find a site worth the effort. Here you'll find Cana, which is still the tallest man-made structure in Belize, standing 43 meters tall. Inside Cana are three temples and four palaces. Number 2. Lamanai. Because Lamanai is located on the banks of the New River Lagoon, some travelers visit the site via a jungle, cruise through the rainforest. This method of transportation will give you a chance to see local wildlife, including monkeys, crocodiles and iguanas. Once at Lamanai, you'll find a well-excavated and beautiful site. Lamanai was once a major city and was also one of the longest occupied Mayan cities. The main attractions at this site are three pyramids, the Jaguar Temple, the High Temple and Mask Temple. Number 3. Zunintunic. The Maya archaeological site Zunintunic is located on the Mopan River in southern Belize, very close to Guatemala. While it is not a big site, Zunantunic does contain some interesting ruins, including El Castillo, which at 40 meters, is the second tallest structure in Belize. Zunantunic, which was a Maya ceremonial center, was at its height between 600 and 890 AD. And even though excavation work first began in the 1800s on this site, researchers studying the site are still making new discoveries. Number 4. Alton Ha. Although Alton Ha is not a big site, it contains some of the best restored Mayan ruins in Belize, which has made it very popular with visitors. Surprisingly, this site was only recently discovered by archaeologists in 1963 and was first excavated between 1965 and 1970. It was during that first excavation that one of Belize's most famous artifacts was discovered the Jade Head. It was a carving of the Maya sun god, Kinichahau, and is the largest carved jade object from the Maya civilization ever discovered. Number 5. Acton Tunikil Mugno. The trek to this site requires a bit of an adventurous spirit as you will have to hike, wade through water possibly swim and rock scramble to reach its remote location. Acton Tunikil Mugno, also known as ATM is, however, worth the effort as it is one of Belize's more fascinating Maya sites. It is a cave that contains many Maya artifacts and the skeletal remains of a number of sacrifice victims. The most famous of these was an 18-year-old girl, dubbed the Crystal Maiden, whose bones are now covered in glittering calcite. Number 6. Lebanton. Lebanton which is the largest Maya site in southern Belize, is known for the unusual construction of its buildings. Instead of limestone, which was typically used in the region, the buildings at Lebanton were constructed from black slate. In addition, no mortar was used in between the blocks, and the corners of the structures were rounded. Lubantan is also known for the large collection of small ceramic objects that were discovered during its excavation. Number 7. Barton Creek Cave Barton Creek Cave is one of the more unusual Mayan sites that you can visit while in Belize. It is a wet cave that was used by the Maya as early as AD 200-600 to for ceremonial purposes. 
archaeologists have discovered thousands of artifacts, including many ceramic fragments, on ledges within Barton Creek Cave, as well as the remains of at least 28 humans. Although researchers are not certain, it is believed that at least some of these humans may have been sacrificed to the rain god Chick. Number 8. Seros. Seros, which was once a major trading center, is the only Maya ruins in Belize that is located on the coast. Some of this site's ruins are actually underwater now, while many others have not yet been excavated. Fortunately though, there are several structures and ball courts that you can explore if you do decide to visit this somewhat remote site. Though Seros is small, its location on the coast is beautiful and peaceful. Seros can be reached via a quick boat ride across the bay from the town of Corozal. It can also be reached by car during the dry season. Number 9. Kehau Pesh Kehau Pesh is located on top of a steep hill, overlooking the Matsu River, and is just a short distance from the town of San Ignacio. It was first settled around 1200 BC and abandoned around 800 to 900 AD. From this site, archaeologists have discovered important facts and information about the earliest Maya settlers. In comparison to some of Belize's other more well-known ruins, Kehau Pesh is small. But it is worth visiting, especially if you will be in the San Ignacio area. It contains several ruins that you can climb or enter and explore. At last in the list, number 10, El Pilar. These Mayan ruins in Belize are located on the border of Belize and Guatemala in the El Pilar Archaeological Reserve for Maya flora and fauna. Work on this site is still ongoing and, in fact, much of El Pilar still remains in the early stages of excavation. So this site is actually an excellent example of what Maya sites look like before they are unearthed and restored. Its mostly unexcavated condition will also give you an idea of how easily these Mayan ruins can blend in with the surrounding jungle. Another plus? It is fairly remote and still does not attract many tourists. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite most fascinating Mayan ruins in Belize. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.